natural herb there for the healing of the nation, okay? King Emmanuel, man with all the herbs. Are you that? The monkey, them, my yeah, pet a donkey. Alright, yeah, you, know, you know, the next thing now, take my wife, go home. All ah, night, I give her some hot fuck. Put in at the ear, leg turn over, back bend up, everything. Oh, shot, everything. Yeah, man. But check this now, wake up in the morning, I see how the devil wicked. Because when I look beside me, and my wife that's in the bed, you know, but I had the same monkey from the zoo. What's up, you sluts? It's your boy Tyler. And it takes a big man to admit when he's wrong. A handsome, blonde, funny big man. The great taste in music and amazing editing skills. What I'm trying to say is I was wrong about Insidious Roots. Well, maybe wrong is the wrong word. I'll be a big man and I'll admit that I was wrong to use the word wrong. But when it comes to Insidious Roots, I missed the mark. I played it a bit in Explorer and I think that I found the Insidious Roots combo and it doesn't require the cauldron familiar. The Insidious Roots combo requires the following pieces. A gore hound, a moss pit skeleton in the graveyard, Insidious Roots, of course, and some way of getting a 1-1 counter onto a creature. And the way that we're gonna do that is by exiling Maverick from our graveyard. See, when you put your 1-1 counter on your guy, Insidious Roots triggers, making a plant token and putting a 1-1 counter on it. The plant token entering the battlefield will make Gorehound trigger, letting you surveil one. As Gorehound resolves, Moss Pit Skeleton will see that you put a counter on your plant and return from the graveyard to the top of your library. Moss Pit leaving the graveyard will trigger Insidious Roots, which will make a plant token and put a 1-1 counter on it. This will get us a lot of value for a single 1-1 counter, but it's far from an infinite loop, at least with one of each of these cards. If there's two moss pit skeletons in our graveyard, we have double the triggers from Insidious Roots and Gorehound. We can loop our two moss pit skeletons against each other infinitely, putting one in the graveyard, then surveilling it back to loop against the other. It's hard to explain, mostly because I don't really know how it works. I just know that it does work. I've played it, I've used it, it works. You can get an infinite number of skeletons, I'm just not really sure how the triggers all stack against each other. So we also put Sidisi in the deck, just because of the synergy that it has with Gorehound. Now whenever we surveil any creature, we get a 2-2 zombie token. Uh, and in order to keep doing that, there's a lot more creatures that are also lands in this deck. One of those like double-sided things. Well, that's just about it. Um, I'm going to stop talking about a deck that I don't really know how it works. But I I'm telling you, if you put this together, if you, uh, I think I put it on Architect. If you copy it and you paste it uh, and you play it, please tell me if you know why this thing works, because I don't.